welcome back today we are going to continue with what we did in the previous video so we first start with a quick revision what we did earlier and discussed in the last video lesson so let us begin uh, what we did uh, we presented an outline or overview of exactly what we are going to do in uh, the video lesson and uh, then after we discussed the need of online examination system in place we also covered the objectives of online examination system along with the uh, current system of examination in place we were about to discuss the different components or elements of online uh, system of examination so let us uh, begin with the elaboration so what we see exactly in this picture there are five important elements which are considered uh, crucial for conducting any online examination the first one is developer or system administrator the second one which is web server or database the third and most important element is inter availability of internet the fourth one is of course the candidates who have to appear for the examination and the fifth one is the presence of examiner who monitors and uh, keep a check on examination uh, being taken okay so let us move ahead with discussing uh, the features of online examination as we see uh, when we talk about the features there are uh, four basic important features uh, as online system of examination is very very less time consuming and efficient system of examination it uh, provides a very precise and accurate result it's more secured in comparison to other system of examination in place and it it is definitely a storage or backup place for an examination being conducted okay so uh, moving ahead let us discuss the different software requirements what are the different software requirements for conducting any online examination the first one is operating system operating system what do we see uh, is as we all know it's an interface between a computer user and a computer hardware it's a software which performs all the basic tasks like file management memory management process management handling input output etc um, operating systems such as uh, windows uh, 7 10 xp or like apple's mac operating system are the different examples then the second software requirement is front end or what we know it's a client or visitor or what we say user side it exactly handles the visual aspects of how the web page looks and responds to the visitor whosoever visits this end that is front end and it uses a front end dot net platform uh, it stands for an object oriented computer programming language developed by microsoft so this is uh, the front end uh, as a software requirement the third one is back end or my uh, sql back end when we say that uh, it relates to accessing data or database that is what we call uh, back end and uh, my sql is a uh, MySQL is a software which is used for this backend backend platform. Okay, so uh, the next one is that is browser. Browser, as we all know, that uh, it could be anything, uh, any uh, browser like Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox or any. Uh, uh, of the browsers so these are the four uh, software requirements which are necessary for conducting an online examination system to hum isme dekhte hain ki char iske mukhya zarurte hain pehla hai operating system jo ki windows xp 10 7 ya fir 
एप्पल का अगर हम एप्पल के मैकबुक की बात करें तो मैक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वहाँ पे एक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के रूप में हम देखते हैं दूसरा है फ्रंट एंड या विजुअल बेसिक डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म हम इसको कहते हैं फ्रंट एंड होता है जो कि यूज़र्स यूज़ करते हैं यूज़र्स यानी कि जो भी उस एग्ज़ाम में अपेयर होता है या जो कोई भी क्लाइंट या जो विजिटर होता है उस प्लेटफॉर्म के लिए उसको हम फ्रंट एंड कहते हैं दूसरा हो तीसरा होता है बैक एंड माई एस क्यू एल बैक एंड हम कहते हैं ये एक्चुअली डेटा या डेटा बेस को तक पहुंचने का एक माध्यम है बैक एंड और चौथा है ब्राउज़र या इंटरनेट जो कि हम सभी जानते हैं कोई भी ब्राउज़र जैसे कि इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोरर या फिर मोजिला फायरफॉक्स वगैरह हम ब्राउज़र के रूप में यूज़ कर सकते हैं सॉफ्टवेयर ज़रूरत के रूप में नाउ कमिंग टू हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स व्हाट आर द हार्डवेयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स नीडेड फॉर एन ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन सो वी सी इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्म वन इज़ क्लाइंट और यूजर साइड and the second one is server side any uh, as we discussed any browser we can use for a user and uh, simultaneously for server side we, we use processor browser in the form of browser we can use any browser like windows 7 10 or windows xp or anything processor we use generally pentium 2 and above For user side or uh, visitor side, we use processor Pentium 2 and above, just like the server one. And uh, we uh, for servers, uh, we also use random access memory of 1 GB RAM. For browser, uh, for client side, we use RAM of 256 megabytes. And uh, for server side, we use hard disk space of at least four. gigabyte so what do we see that there is a clear distinction what we uh, use uh, the in the form of hardwares for different uh, sites like uh, client side and the server side okay so moving with what are the different aspects what are the different uh, things which we should consider for a learner while conducting an online examination system the first one is requesting registered registration this is very very important and this is the first uh, step by a learner then the learner logs into the system he uh, edits his own uh, or his or her own information and then selects the test which he has to appear for and then he appears for the examination he or she can print the result at the end of the examination and review the given examination uh, re review the given responses whatever he has uh, provided in his answer so hum yahan pe dekhte hain ki sabse pehle jo parikshartri hai या जो लर्नर है विद्यार्थी वो अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन दर्ज करता है उसके बाद वो लॉगिन करता है और अपनी अपनी सूचना से संबंधित जो भी ज़रूरतें हैं उन सब की एंट्री करता है उसके बाद वो परीक्षा का चयन करता है परीक्षा में उपस्थिति दर्ज कराता है और परीक्षा दे, देना शुरू करता है परीक्षा के सभी उत्तर देने के बाद वो रिज़ल्ट को प्रिंट करता है परीक्षा के अंत में और उसके बाद वो समीक्षा करता है अपने उत्तरों का कर सकता है अगर उसके पास समय है तो तो ये डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स हैं डिफरेंट विभिन्न पहलू हैं अगर हम परीक्षार्थी की बात करो करें तो जो कि हमें ध्यान देना होता है अब हम बात करेंगे परीक्षा की जो प्रक्रिया है ऑनलाइन परीक्षा प्रक्रिया वो दरअसल क्या है तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पे वी नीड टू लॉग इन टू द ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन सिस्टम अटेंड टेस्ट एंड सबमिट द रिजल्ट 
and the form of questions in test phase could be of multiple choice questions and the questions could be selected at random basis so this is exactly what happens during the examination process now moving to administrators aspects what are the things which we should consider when uh, keeping in mind the administrator of online examination uh, an administrator can take backup of the database he or she can edit delete create the database he may change the password and log into the system he or she accepts registration of the candidates whosoever registers uh, for the examination he uh, just creates an e test and posts questions of the tests he posts multiple options to respective questions and uh, marks correct answers within the given options as well he prescribes the time limit of the test and uh, he also chooses whether the uh, whether the questions have to uh, randomized or not and uh, sets negative marks for wrong responses if needed so these are the different aspects of administrator who handles online examination now moving to the and discuss to uh, discuss about the scope ya jise hum kehte hain vistar ya sima kshetra scope online examination can be used in educational institutions and corporate world can be used anywhere including remote areas at any time no restriction for examiner to be present while conducting the test designed to facilitate the administrator and the user both and it is meant for educational institutions to conduct tests of their students or employees on a regular basis as we clearly see that this mode of examination can be used for educational institutions and corporate world to yahan hum pate hain ki koi bhi shaikshnik sansthan is ka upyog kar sakta hai is prakar ki pariksha pranali ka dusra ye kahin bhi bhi sudur ilake mein का उपयोग किया जा सकता है और यहाँ पे परीक्षार्थी के ऊपर कोई दबाव या किसी तरह का का रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं होता है कि उसकी उपस्थिति फलाने जगह पर ही अनिवार्य है बल्कि वो कहीं से भी इस परीक्षा में अपनी उपस्थिति दर्ज कर सकता है ये जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर हैं और साथ ही जो यूज़र हैं दोनों को एक दोनों के लिए एक सुविधाजनक माध्यम है और इसको डिज़ाइन किया गया है इस प्रकार से जिसके द्वारा कि जितने भी शैक्षणिक संस्थान हैं वो ज़रूरत के हिसाब से टेस्ट कंडक्ट कर सकते हैं और अपने विद्यार्थियों और एम्प्लॉ की एम्प्लॉ के लिए वो टेस्ट कंडक्ट करा सकते हैं नियमित रूप से जब जब उन आवश्यकता उनको होगी वो उस हिसाब से इस प्रकार के परीक्षा प्रणाली का उपयोग कर सकते हैं अपने अभ्यर्थियों के लिए नाउ कमिंग टू एडवांटेजेस कि इस प्रकार की परीक्षा प्रणाली के मुख्य लाभ क्या क्या हैं क्या क्या फ़ायदे हो सकते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज वी नो दैट दिस examination system serves as a secured medium when we say secured we all know that uh, once all the questions are uploaded in the system the system can shuffle and give questions in different orders to different students and thereby this minimizes the chance of cheating so it could serve as a secured uh, medium of examination secondly it's a basis of quick result processing in an online exam the results are calculated instantly and accurately unlike the paper based examination where there are a lot of steps involved resulting in the paper evaluation process to take up a lot of time and making it prone to human errors the next advantage is uh, it we can get rid of examination system 
in an online examination system the exam could be conducted wherever the candidate is the exam surveillance can be conducted with the help of a web camera or microphone and such a method of uh, exam is what we call remote proctoring exactly so when an exam is conducted remotely hundreds and thousands of students can appear for the exam without the need to spend on travel and accommodation and this also solves the problem of scheduling exams across various exam centers hiring invigilators providing security to these centers etc so this is how we can get rid of examination system the next one is it's a cost effective medium of course when we talk about uh, when we talk in terms of cost effectiveness in an online examination the logistics cost is particularly very very less examination process is managed using technology and it is beneficial when we are looking to conduct the exam for multiple candidates at different locations the result processing uh, could be done online and hence the logistic cost is limited unlike the paper based examination or what we call the present mode of examination which is in place the logistics cost is high since a lot of factors like exam centers hiring invigilators etc has to be considered question papers answer sheets need to be delivered at designed exam uh, at uh, sorry at designated exam centers within a definite timeline so this is how the system becomes more complicated uh, and uh, cost costly affair therefore this system of examination is definitely a good alternative in terms of cost effectiveness the next one is remote supervision when we say remote supervision online examination could be managed uh, in where web camera connected to the system would take snapshots of the students for the exam and can act as an invigilator which is again cost and time efficient this would ensure that the same student is appearing for the exam and the system is able to keep track of the student during the examination so uh, what used to happen in a paper based exam there is a need to hire an invigilator for a designated set uh, of number of students here what we find that it is very much different the case so uh, so remote su supervision becomes very easy the next one is accuracy in checking the answers uh, calculating result uh, an online examination uh, provides us very accurate uh, result and the calculation and checking the answers uh, definitely becomes very very an easy process and when we talk about the convenience security and flexibility of examination management in an online examination system uh, it certainly gives us uh, the flexibility to design examination papers evaluation and grading there could be same or different questions for students uh, as one chooses and then uh, if we compare uh, the in this aspect with the present mode of examination and there is little or no flexibility last minute changes or corrections are are, are not possible uh, with reference to the present mode of examination so this is how th this system is more convenient secured and flexible the uh, last but not the least uh, is to mention that it provides instant result instant when we say instant result uh, then definitely it it's a, uh, in an online examination result anal analysis is very easy and instant the online exam can provide detailed analysis ranking um, of subject wise analysis it's also helpful for further decision making or shortlisting process uh, 
unlike the traditional mode of examination where the processing is done manually and huge uh, administrative load or task is required uh, for the processing of examination. Many examiners are involved in the compilation of the final result and such a result could be error prone. But here uh, the advantage of online examination system is that it is uh, it provides instant as well as error free result.